city of Bakersfield is getting ready to send a letter of opposition to the high-speed rail authority. This after officials decided to place a station near Shafter instead of downtown Bakersfield. 23 ABC's Laura uh, Gra Gracia Aguilar, I should say, is live with what city council now plans to do about this. Gracia. Tim, City Council approved that letter during a meeting today. They say adding a temporary station in Shafter would delay services to Bakersfield and have other negative impacts for the city. High speed rail is a fraud. The Bakersfield City Council expressing strong opinions tonight when talking about the high speed rail authority. We need to get on board. And, 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 and really raise up against this thing. The city is against a new draft to the 2016 business plan the HSRA released in February. It shows changes to the path the train would run. Bakersfield is scheduled to have a permanent station close to downtown. But under the new plan, that facility is delayed. Instead, there would be a temporary stop just northwest of Shafter. The HSRA says this change is due to cost and time. I'm telling you, these high speed rail people have. They line their pockets with millions of dollars in salaries in the name of doing the, whatever they do. And High Speed Rail all along said they wanted a heavy maintenance facility more or less in the, the center of the line. But if you ship that center and it now ends at Poplar, that uh, puts a heavy maintenance facility probably in Fresno. In a letter directed to the HSRA, the city says the temporary station slated to be placed on Poplar Avenue would be a wasted investment. Completely undeveloped uh, is almost entirely uh, agricultural land and uh, really has no uh, urbanization or urban infrastructure. Uh, anywhere really close to it. They say a Shafter station would delay service to Bakersfield for at least four years. It wouldn't have a connection to another transit, and it would counter the plan's objective to minimize urbanization. The motion is unanimously approved. All of council were in favor of the letter, but say their efforts for change will be falling on deaf ears. They ignore what the, what the voters wanted. They've ignored what the polls have shown, uh, and they uh, are now going to ignore this also. The letter also outlines other cost-effective options for building the station in Bakersfield. For the complete letter, visit our website at turn223.com. Live in downtown, Grecia Aguilar, 23BC.